All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's easy folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Introducing the challenger, Lee! And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Giants. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Effective strike there by Lee. Just missed with the straight left hand. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Outstanding meeting the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. And they separate. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Nice punch land. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Take down. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big head kick. What a punch. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Nice body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't wanna hang out on the ground with this guy. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big shot land. Nice head kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice head kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. Oh, He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing 
when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Nice hook, Lance. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. The taller fighter lands at me, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big head kick. Oh, collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie. Re wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Gets up again here, but hurting. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch land over the top. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though. Big punch in the clinch. Back and forth we go. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anyway. Checks the leg kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him drive his shin between the front and the dead body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Good punch, Lance. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Lands flush with that right hand. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Connects with the right. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Just misses with the jab there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. And the horn sounds on round two. 
Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of shots. He's hurt bad. Nice loop of punch. Ooh. Oh, nice high kick. Do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always make you the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the ball. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, misses with the jet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Watch knees to the body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Out of range with that one. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice hit. Nice hit. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. And there is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He's done, he's done! Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. At three minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by a tap out due to a rear naked choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner. And this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team.